I was born Brad Hirsch, but these days I'm known as Bao. And yes, I've carved a life out here in Vietnam. I grew up in America and have had a very successful and wonderful time there. But these days, I really feel as if Hue is my home. I've been here for the better part of a decade now, but will be here for life. What a great time to be alive, huh? So I've been all over the world here for over 20 years, and I've always been looking for the perfect country to settle down and to always call home. And I gotta say, Vietnam is it. Yeah, these days I've got a wife here, a life here, a house here, and absolutely a future here. I'm gonna die in Vietnam. And I tell you, there's thousands of reasons why a guy could fall in love with Vietnam, but one of the biggest ones is the most basic, food. I really want to invite you out here in Vietnam on an adventure, a culinary archaeology, and I hope you can see for yourself why a person can fall in love with Vietnam cuisine. Let's go check it out, huh? Salt, it's really beautiful when you look close at it. And really, in a lot of ways, it's a foundation of life. It's one of the most abundant things in the world. Every single culture has some sort of tradition about salt when it comes to food. Now, we're gonna be diving deep into the recipe of the seasoned salts used by the royals here in Vietnam hundreds of years ago. Look closely at how they're made, the ingredients required, and most importantly, how they taste. So today we're gonna dive in, take a closer look, and you can see for yourself. To find out more about these unique seasoning salts, mm -hmm. I met with Mr. Lee Hong Shun, one of Hui's famous chefs. Oh, tập hợp các cái ngự thiện phòng là những đầu bếp nổi tiếng và giỏi ở trong cung tích hợp lại tất cả những cái công thức và những cái kinh nghiệm của dân gian mới là chế biến ra dòng và ẩm thực độc đáo mà trong cung đình thường xuyên dùng nó đi song hành cùng với cơn hào hải vị của cung đình đó vị của cơm muối thực sự ngon mà lại còn có tác dụng chữa bệnh nữa theo cái cái người người phương đông của mình là nó là được phối chế theo cái ngũ hành âm dương nó tức là hài hòa, nó là sự cân đối hài hòa giữa đạm động vật, giữa đạm thực vật nó phối hợp với nhau, nó tạo ra sự hài hòa trong cơ thể mình. Sau khi mới hạt được chế biến này, người ta bày lên ở giữa đây là có cái cái, cái thổ cơm. Yeah, yeah, vì là vì ở đây là đây là đây là các muối này, đây các loại muối này, đây các loại muối xung quanh này. Well, yeah, but ngày nay em nghĩ mà nhiều người chưa biết về ní là cơm muối. Like với nhiều người nước ngoài mà mà đi du lịch ở đây ở Việt Nam chưa biết. Bởi vì cái món ăn này nó tuy nhiên là dân dã nhưng và sau này nó 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 được chế biến cách rất là cầu kỳ. Và ít nhà hàng người ta thực hiện cơm muối ngon chúng ta phải tích lọc những cái kinh nghiệm dân gian nhất là ở các cái bậc nghệ nhân như cô trà. Cô Huy. Cái thứ hai nữa là mình phải tích cóp ở trong trong những cái cuốn sách cổ mm. nghiên cứu, mình tích nha, góp những kinh nghiệm đó để tạo lên những cái món cơm muối thật ngon. Đó, mm -hmm. đây. 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 So, đây là công thức đấy á. Đây là đây là những phần những phần mm. phần, phần viết về về cơm muối. Mm -hmm. Mình phải tích là lọc từng tí một.
After learning about the origins of seasoning salt, Shun and I are going to buy the necessary ingredients to make three basic types. Cái hạt muối này, đây gọi là muối tươi. Sau đó khi người ta muốn chế biến, người ta lại cho vào trong cái thố đất, người ta đun và om chấu cái vỏ chấu ấy, đun qua một ngày, một đêm, cái hạt hạt muối này nó mới vỡ vụn, nó trắng thành cái muối hầm này. Bạn có thể ăn được. Cái vị muối hầm đó, cái vị muối hầm nó không mặn, không chát như cái vị muối tươi. It's not taste different than pure salt. Actually, it's more like a seasoned salt. Đó là những cái đặc trưng riêng cái muối của Huế thế. Hỏi ba xem có một món. We keep buying more and more ingredients. Shun is a very well-educated chef, so he shares with me a lot of interesting features of each ingredient. Out of all of them. Mam Tom Hue's shrimp paste is really impressive. It's a signature flavor of Hue that you gotta try. Có thể nếm được chứ cô? Nhẹ thôi. Oh, just 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 eat thôi. Ah, okay, yeah. Đó là bí mật hả? Hmm. Yeah, I gotta say it's it's saltier. I really really like this. And actually, this sort of Mam Tom. Some people say it's like the heart and soul of Hue cuisine. Shun also showed me a lot of details about what to look for when getting lemongrass and chilies. Pay attention to the color. The darker they are, the more aromatic and better they come out in the end. All said and done, we've got enough ingredients, including a delicious type of hui rice, heoran, along with some stewed salt and hui chilies. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of process we go from making fresh chili right into our salts here together. Let's dig. I gotta say, it's a very slick way of getting the pepper seeds out of there that I haven't tried yet. The first group of seasoning salts on the menu today involves a flora-based seasoning salt with chili as the main ingredient. So yeah, that. I thought this dish would be real easy to make, but as usual, turns out I was totally wrong. The chilies need to be finely chopped and to have the seeds removed. All right, so this is the magic we're left with after our first phase here. Keep stirring as you're cooking low and slow. We got a good 10 minutes of stir frying until the chilies are ready. So yeah, thu thu, and got to do it nice and carefully, no doubt about it. Next up, you guessed it, grind it with a pestle. Grinding it like this really helps bring out those details of flavor. Có cái tác dụng là nó vừa vỡ hết những cái hạt ra và trong cái ớt bột nó rất là đẹp. And I got to say, the pestle and mortar is one of those universal worldwide things you can find in every culture. So I love it that it's a solid part of us making salts here. And uh, I got to say, I just love making and using the pestle in every way. Mm -hmm. Of course, we add some stewed salt, a little sugar, and mix her all up. No, this dish looks so simple, but I promise it took over an hour to make. 
vào thử mình ớt thử chứ à uh, yeah rau muốn mm. oh, thực sự ngon thực sự ngon Yeah, when you try it together with the, especially with the use of the pesto itself, it really blends in the variety of flavors. And surprisingly enough, that sugar does a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to cutting down on the spiciness. Uh, but I do think the combination of that and frying together really makes this all come together in one beautiful, beautiful mix. So yeah, marvelous. The second group of salts on the menu here today is the seafood salt. Okay, so I uh, show hi. Uh, yeah, ở đây có ý quyết phải không? Vâng. Ở đây uh, là cái con quyết mm -hmm. uh, mà từ địa phương của Huế gọi là quyết, nhưng nó là chính là một con tôm nhỏ ở biển. Mm -hmm. Món này người ta gọi là món muối quyết. Mm -hmm. Nó là một món rất đặc trưng ở mm -hmm. Huế mà người ta uh, được thưởng thức. So for this journey, Shun likes to roast the shrimp and pound them with a pestle. He'll also add some stewed salt, chili powder and pepper. The secret ingredient to really add that extra sparkle is adding a little more yellow sesame seed. Bảo thử lại đi. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that thêm uh, yeah, ít mẹ văn nữa. Yeah. Yeah, that huang vi quyết. Yeah, 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 yeah có. Nó rất là đặc trưng. À, à yeah. Những cái loại muối khác. Ừ. Uh, mm -hmm. Là cái thú vị của nó là vậy đó. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I absolutely got to say, uh, there's no doubt that it is krill or a baby shrimp here, but at the same time, it's really that golden sesame that sets this one apart. It's not too spicy. It's a really well balanced one. Absolutely unbelievable. I love it. Round three here is the shrimp paste pork seasoning salt. This really represents the group of fauna based seasoning salts. Oh, I love it. Stir fried green onions and lemongrass. I do got to say that lemongrass is not a common ingredient in a lot of Western cooking, but really the flavor and that pungency that it has to it, I think it should be part of every kitchen. And this is a good example. Mm. Ah, the tea, oh, just chia, uh, chen, huh? Now we nhau thơm hơn á. We're going to go on different styles. In particular, we've got a lot new a lot of new ingredients to work with here, including our old friend ruốc. So yeah, giờ hôm nay sẽ thêm mì ruốc phải không? Bây giờ chúng ta thêm ruốc. Mhm. Say it's quite an experience to really smell and be part of it all as the aromas and flavors all come together here like this. And uh, that rook, the krill paste, I tell you, that is like the transition from black and white TV to color TV. So we're not done yet. We've got to add a few more things, including um, some sugar and among other things. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Ooh, new to them. Then the chili powder and stewed salt. A good three to five minutes of mixing and we're all set. 
Oh yeah, and just a little salt. We already added the rook, which has quite a bit of saltiness to it already. Just cooking these three basic types of seasoning salt took more than two hours. I'd imagine it would take days to make all 36. Being here and experiencing it all firsthand really helps me appreciate the care and the love people put into keeping traditional salts of whey alive. Chúng ta đã hoàn thành xong ba món muối. Đây là món muối xả thịt. Món muối thứ hai là món muối ớt. Món muối thứ ba là món muối khuyết. Ba cái vị muối này là ba cái vị muối rất đặc trưng ở Huế. Yeah, 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 right one too. Yeah, and uh, so now comes to the best part of this whole thing. So yeah, let's put it all together here, see how it marries. Mm. This rice is specially done, as you can tell. The quiet? Mm. Yeah, the quiet, uh, the dried shrimp really has a nice touch to it. But the best one is going to be the satit. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Mustn't be shy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Maybe it's just the pork talking, but I gotta say, this is the best one by a long shot. It's got a lot more complexity with the ingredients, uh, but it's got a real richness to it. So. When you think of salt, you wouldn't normally think of this as a seasoning, but here we are, and it's awesome. I gotta do another. Mmm. Nghe mà ngon quá. Mmm. this absolutely marvelous garden, complete with the old timber style construction. I gotta tell y'all, a few things I love the most, good food, history, and meeting really interesting people. Anshun contacted me and said there's someone very special that I've got to meet here today. So let's see what he's got in store. Anshun! Yeah. Chào chào cô. Chào cô. Hmm. Ah. So yeah, yeah. Call. Giới thiệu mẹ em. Đây là cô Mai Thị Trà, là người thầy của anh, người đã dạy anh tất cả các món ẩm thực dân gian của Huế. Today I'm very happy to be invited to try out some of the salts of the ancient Huế royal court. Earlier, Ms. Maiti Cha, a Hui culinary artist, went to the kitchen to instruct Mr. Shun and his students how to make the different types of seasoning salt. According to Ms. Cha, the delicate taste of the salt is done in the market when choosing the exact best whey ingredients. Pounding the sesame salt like this brings out its flavor while maintaining its richness. Adding to that, shrimp, meat and fish will be carefully cooked and pounded to produce the best taste. 
for this seasoning salt. All these ingredients come together beautifully to make the best tasting seasoning salt. With the arrangement of salt dishes, the Hale Ron rice pot in the middle, and the surrounding salt flavors, they're all able to highlight the dish's sophistication, and not only flavor-wise, but also in terms of its beautiful presentation. Making a tray of seasoning salt like this would take four people an entire day. You can't help but notice the diligent attention to detail way people put into their foods. I'm so glad to be invited to enjoy a unique taste of history like this. Culinary archaeology at its finest. Today I've got the chance to try 9 out of 36 of Huey's special seasoning salt. Miss Cha and Mr. Shun introduced me to several typical flavors here in Hue. We did some ginger salt, sesame salt, beef lemongrass salt, oh, okay. mackerel right, salt, right. among others. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mỗi hai loại muối có một hương vị khác nhau. Mm-hmm. Hoặc là ăn với xôi. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cả hai luôn. Mm-hmm. It was so interesting to learn about this royal dish and enjoy it in the traditional Hue home with two great friends. Con số chín là con số đẹp nhất trong số đối với người Việt Nam. Và Rice with salt is truly one of the most unique dishes of Hue cuisine that I've ever enjoyed. This seasoning salt is also proof of the ingenuity and sophistication of the ancient Hue people. Starting with just white salt, they're able to create many unique flavors the harmonious blend is like a rainbow of our sourness, spicy, saltiness, sweetness, all coming together to create a gastronomic work of art. <laughs>